Okay, I'm starting a new series today. It's going to be about matter and light and energy and what the solar system is made of and space and what matter consists of and the atomic theory and it's called electron flood theory. What I explain covers everything. It's a unified theory. It covers gravity, anti-gravity. It explains why an atomic bomb, a bomb, goes straight up from the surface of the Earth and the glowing ball is straight up like it shot off as a rocket ship. It didn't glow into a big ball in a circle like bombs do. It is a different process created by the loss of electrons. Now, I am going to show, and using all the different tools that are available now to, to explain and show and demonstrate all the experiments that Rod Warren and I did years ago, and I've been studying for the last three years. And I present factual evidence. So, let's go into the true nature of our physics and our belief in energy and what's happening in the nuclear core and how atoms are built and what the air consists of and the vacuum of space. It's not a vacuum. This stuff is blowing out into this vacuum of space in copious quantities and from all, all matter consists of the same sort of stuff. And I've checked all matter, trust me. I've looked into, all, well, when I say all matter, I've looked into the molecular structure of everything that I can discover that's been tested. Now, I didn't do the actual tests on myself, no. But people test these things, and I can see what's, like, even on Mars, the, what comes off of Mars. So you have to understand the chemistry, and what's in space is this stuff, and what you're picking up on these spectral lines is not coming off of planets and things, not necessarily, it's actually what's being hit in space and being absorbed by the things that are in space. Space is not empty. And I was given an experiment where you could take a light and shine it out through empty space to another receiver, and if the prism shows there's no interference, then space is empty. That's not going to happen. The astronauts say their suits smell like steak and metal when they come back in from walking in space. That's not empty space. Alright, so that's my claim. I'd like to see an experiment done to prove that. They could do that. I don't think there's any issue with doing that. And maybe they already have done it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Somebody show me I'm wrong. I think I'm right. I'm looking at what's going on in space right now. Alright, I'm going to make some claims right now. This is laser light and there's only a tiny dot of laser light crashing through the ether of space and yes ether does exist and this is light the same wave of light crashing through a venturi you can see that's the particle beam that i said was the little beam from before it is now crashing into a restriction creating plasma which means that all the particles that have magnetic regions around them just like magnets are forced into everybody else so they now can have no more magnetic regions and they glow and they force back a magnetic region like this which is incredible this is plasma and this is the precursor to fusion if this was not electrons and it was protons that's fusion Fusion coming out of here, those nucleuses, which are, in this case, will be protons, they will reform into helium, and there will be an enormous release of energy. That is what I want to accomplish. And we have trying to decide, to, to design a receiver that can receive this plasma into a resonance chamber, creating the helium and excess energy. So... I have a lot to display and we have seen a lot of other characteristics displayed in here. This is not something silly. This is what comes out of the other side of that venturi. When it comes out it's highly accelerated, these particles. They create these elegant little fields of polarized little particles. I have a lot to show. This is where you want to be. The matter with space is the matter in space. It's loaded with matter. This stuff spews out all over into the galaxy, into the solar system, into interplanetary space. And it's everywhere. And it's and the astronauts even say their spacesuits smell like steak and metal. 
that is exactly what this is right here. Steak and metal. I mean, um, you know, steak and metal. <laughs> you have to go. I mean, I have all this stuff, and it's not just guesses. And, you know, there's light and there's theories about the light, but it shows the pictures that were actually taken that support the theories. There's nothing here that you can't get your actual head around and see. So, here we go. Okay, just a quick note. I, I did a, uh, a video and I thought it was pretty good. And I was using some of the clips from uh, a BBC um, broadcast. And apparently it's claimed by Red Bull that I can't use it, the video clip for the content. And I like Red Bull. I have nothing against them. And, um, and I love BBC. They're both. Uh, and I, the stuff that Red Bull does is over the top. I mean, I mean, you got to give them that. Now, and this is over the top. This is way over the top. And if they will help, we might be able to create cold fusion. I want nothing. I'm not looking for anything out of this. But I need somebody to help. Now, this is under the um, Fair Use Act, really. And I don't think there's a, a copyright claim against things like that. Because there is no money to be made here. But I'm, I won't obviously use it because I get knocked out of there. So I will be referring to their excellent video. Um, and um, in my presentations and it was a very very good video so anyway of course I, I will only be able to direct you to that video to watch those clips I may just say at such and such a point they talk about so and so who invented this and then I give my interpretation of what that relates to but I won't be able to play it in its entirety from them so I'll just be commenting on because it was an excellent video and it explained the entire process of electricity all the way up to where we are now from when he invented getting static electricity and the first battery packs and it was very very good so and if anybody knows Red Bull ask him to help all right we need somebody to help fix the earth skiing and all that business jumping out of airplanes love it but fixing the earth I love that too all right thank you all Stay tuned.